this is going to be a bit of a part two i'm going to do a three-part video just to show you how everything works with this thing you've seen part one so we've installed the system we've got the steering wheel on we've got the screen there we've got the dome installed all the wires are nicely rooted around the tractor we've got the angle sensor on the front of the tractor down there everything's installed so step two is you have to make sure that you've bought yourself and uh, the prices and stuff may vary for whichever one you've got have to get yourself an rtk uh, sim card for the screen to make sure it all works ours is here i can't show you the details in there because uh, that is unique to us small little sim card like a phone sim card it's going to go in this slot here within the monitor and then hopefully it all works uh, we're going to go through that today i'll show you the calibration side of things and i you also when you first turn this screen on you have to also set up a via verkin account name and password which is really easy to do you just hook your phone to your tablet here you can just tether them uh, via wi-fi on your phone and you can set yourself up a quick uh, account it took really it literally took two minutes so you set that up put your sim card in and hopefully we're all gonna learn something um, as we go here and we'll take you through the screen step by step and show you the parameters it wants to see and stuff like that so uh, yeah I'm gonna get this installed and then we'll come back just to show you what it looks like underneath that cover there the cover the the screws there are very very tiny there's the screws look they're very very tiny so you've got to be very careful you don't lose those and then you just insert your card into the slot and um, then we'll uh, we'll start her all up and see what she does. Turn the system on now. Once you're logged in, it'll bring you to this screen. We can see now we've got an RTK system. We're we're on RTK. We've got our satellites there. Um, we are connected to Wi-Fi via my phone. So I've connected my phone to the screen, and then what we did was we went to the correctional source. And then we went to Network RTK. You type, you press your end trip button there. And then once you've got all your account and your SIM card, they will give you everything you need to put in that little bit there. There'll be a host, a port, and uh, yeah, it's really, really simple to do. Even I worked it out, so that was pretty simple to do. So next, vehicle information. So on the vehicle information, you want to make sure all these are correct because it tells you, it's basically telling the uh, it's, it's telling you where the dome is in relation to your tractor to make sure everything steers in the right place so you if you've set up your dome on the left you can do that you can set your dome on the left if you've only got space for it on the left or if you set it on the right and you basically put all the different things so you've got your wheel track wheelbase distance from the front axle distance to the hard point on the back which is your linkage uh, distance to the rear axle and the height off the ground as well. It wants to know all those. We're going to do some other calibrations now. Uh, it's all in the book, so you basically you've got to follow the book now. Uh, you've got to do a angle sensor calibration, uh, which we have already done, and that's really simple to do. You just put in the attitude sensor. You put the wheel, which is this, uh, it's the sensor on the front of your tractor there. Uh, you tell it where it is it's in the right hand wheel and then you literally just drive forward for 20 meters and it's done it just does it by itself the vehicle calibration and yeah we're all going to learn this one together so we just follow the screen really tap confirm point a drive straight for 50 meters and then mark point b so let's confirm point a put it into drive first comes up here with your meters now all this is pretty self-explanatory it's in the book but uh, I wanted to show you firsthand and we're doing it as I'm learning it there's 50 meters we will confirm point B and calibration completed manually turn the vehicle around and return to point B with the vehicle head facing point A and tap start so that the vehicle travels along point A to the guidance you have just created in auto steer. So we're going to turn around and apparently the tractor is going to put itself onto that line. And if we press start now, this wheel's going to take over look. And now the wheel should 
we should be driving up the exact same tracks as we were. We'll see in a minute. It's quite weird seeing the steering move it move itself for the first time but you get used to that right there we go i'm gonna have a little play and then when i know what i know i'll come back to you and um but it everything seems pretty easy so far so i've been doing some playing and uh, i've been doing some figuring out because it's all different to our systems um, that we're used to uh with the other tractors everything's different but um i've got her working i've connected my phone to this via wi-fi and if I disconnect that Wi-Fi, the RTK signal doesn't work quite so well. It doesn't pick up so many satellites. And it doesn't, for some reason, it likes to have your phone connected to it. I don't know if it uses your phone as another source of, uh, of where you are or, or a source for, it, for satellites. I don't know, but it seems to work a heck of a lot better with, the, um, with your phone attached to it. You can see we've got a... Um, a that's how accurate we are within one look that's how accurate we are on the field you see the uh, steering we can go faster if we want to and it maps the field out for you as well so you can see where you've been I've already set that time once and that's changed I don't know what's going on there so to disengage it you can pull against the steering wheel and it will disengage it shows you on the screen what we're going to do is just turn around we're going to try and get back on our mark here not that one one in purple is the one it's going to go to let the computer do it it's going to try and get itself back on the line So I'm going to go and get a tape measure and I'm going to measure in between the middle of these tracks and in between the middle of those tracks and just make sure that is set to six meters and if it is then we're all set ready to go we don't really need to do much else I'm pretty sure we should have a 4G signal so I'm going to do some diving into that and see why we haven't got a 4G signal um, it shouldn't have to use your phone as the thing but it might be the carrier for the RTK uh, it might be that so um, I'm going to look into that but it is actually working pretty nice so I'm going to take you through the screen now and show you what's what we're going to go back out of everything uh, just so you've got a basic idea when you come to use it um, yeah I've been doing some fiddling about it and, and all these things take time you've got to come out in the field and you're better off to come on your own and learn it yourself say we've got a say we've, we've put our red rolls on we've got a 12 meter red roll set and you have to go into the settings your working width spacing 12 meters okay now that's going to set our working width to 12 meters you can have a speed alert on there so if you end up if you i don't know why you'd have it on there really uh, only if you're going too slow or too fast uh i've set mine at 15k basically you can just it's a little alert that comes up when you're going above the speed you want to go i think uh, the offset range alert ah right so if it's uh if it's more than five centimeters off range it will alert you and tell you that you're more than than five centimeters adrift we're going to turn ourselves around we want to set a new guidance line so the little button here set our first point a and point b now the point a and point b is basically your heading you it wants where you which way you want your lines to be so we're going to put a point a you can do if you've got a special if you've got a curved field say say you've got a field that starts here and curves around like that you can put in a curved line and follow it round and follow it round and follow it round like you would in a sprayer uh, so you can do curved line as well you choose on here we're just going to do a straight field we're going to set our point a here we are going to drive down the field and the first one you got to remember your first one you're driving so the first line is always going to look a little bit off and then everyone from then on is going to be perfect so uh, 
We do, and you don't need to drive far before you put your point B in. So we can put our point B in, we're going to import that line, you can call it whatever you want, so you can name your field and it will remember you should be able to come back and um, click into that line again. So you can come straight here, straight to that point and the lines will all be the same across the field. So you should be able to, if you're doing, um, say you're doing, uh, what do they call it, where they run on the tram lines year after year and keep the tram line markings the same. You should be able to do that as well. There we go, there's our lines. Uh, I wonder if we can come out of it. Yeah, we just pinch outwards and that will um, do that. Can we change our tractor? No. Nope. All you simply do, let the tractor start moving forward, press start, the steering wheel starts to move you onto the line and it will map out the field as you go as well so you know where you've been. So if you were drilling, you would know you were drilling there. And we're just going to go a little bit faster. Your speed comes up at the top there and it is bang on, 9998 on here. I'm going to do um, a part three video next. I'm going to go out, take you out and use it with an implement on the back and we'll see what it does. But um, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing with that now. Um, yeah, it's, a, it, it's quite basic in terms of what it's compared to in Keithy's tractor. Keithy's, you can map out farms, you can put farm names across the lot. Keithy's is very complicated. Uh, you, some say complicated but it depends how you use it. We literally at this farm only need a straight line. We, we don't really need much else. So we're coming up to the headland now. I'm gonna take over. I'm gonna do a big turn in the field. I can use my monitor now to make sure that I'm coming on to the next pass you can do inter, um, now I just press continue, the steering wheel comes back, and there we are, we're back within a centimetre of accuracy, so that's pretty impressive, I quite, I quite like that actually. The tyre marks are running down there and they are literally bang on the money with the tractor as well so and if there's any offsets to be done if you notice you're running slightly wider one way than the other your dome might not be exactly in the middle of your tractor so you might need to put an offset in there and you can cancel that out if you're slightly too far over one way you can literally bring it back uh, by putting it into the computer nice and easy um, it's actually very very good and I'll, I'll tell you something once you've had GPS you'll never go back you, this is so simple uh, uh, it's unbelievable really and me and the farmer <laughs> he was just helping me a minute ago we've got the tape in here and we measured the distance between each row to make sure it's 12 meters and it was bang on it's literally bang on 12 meters uh, to the uh, next row uh, so let's just turn ourselves around and uh, we'll end it there because that's going to be getting on for but I wanted to show you it's pretty simple to set up you want to be close to the line look press the button and it brings you all back onto it yeah and, it, and it's a case of just having a go playing with the different parameters on there you can change how fast everything moves about we actually found leaving everything set to standard was the most comfortable and the most um, yeah the most accurate way of driving I'm gonna I'm literally gonna turn around and go back down that same road because I want the tractor with RTK you should be able to always go back to the exact same location every single time within two and a half centimeters so here's where we turned Bring us back on the line again, look. And I can tell the tyres are running, bang on them. Same path again. Literally bang on it. A 
There we go. How brilliant is that? Yeah, very good. We're really happy with it. The only thing it can't do, if you go offline like this, so if you look at the screen, I hope you can see this all right. If you go to the screen and you start going at an angle and you press the button, it doesn't like it. With our other tractors, you can, you could, if you were going at that sort of angle, you could turn yourself onto it when it goes purple, but it just will not, it will not do it until you are more in line with your line, if that makes any sense. You've got to be close to the line and you've got to be more facing with the line. But once, you've, once you're that, and those things you, you will get used to. Uh, even with the, um, the other inbuilt tractors that we have, they still don't like that very well. And if you turn too sharp, they don't like that very well. You've got to get close-ish to the mark, then hit your button and it'll work every time. There we go, that's it. I'm gonna go and find the combine now because we are at harvest, so <laughs> busy time of year. I hope you like that one. Peter's gonna be a happy man on here, I know it. I want, I want one on my tractor now, so. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I might have to uh, sweeten the farmer up some more. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there we go guys. Hope you like that. That's a Sphereverken F100 auto steer system. Yeah, brilliant bit of kit. 